<laughs> All right, my friends. Today, we're going to get right to it. Today's Reddit tip is about roof fascia. Now, I know that may sound boring, like, why don't I just click this guy off right now and not watch this bogus Reddit tip because I don't care about fascia. But I want to show you how powerful and cool fascia can be. It's kind of like the undiscovered um, tip, or no, not tip, uh, undiscovered tool in Reddit. People don't hardly use it. And a little bit of magic to go with it to make your life better. All right, here we go. Let me minimize my face down over here. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's go into 3D. Let's get this rocking. Here's our little building, okay? We're talking about fascia, the fascia that goes around the edge of a roof. Best place to go look for it. It's maybe in this wall section right through here. Typical wall section at the front of the building, okay? So here we go. Wall section, and here is our fascia. This guy right here, if I highlight it, you'll see that it's a flat one by 10. That's nice and all. But, and there's a gutter attached. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the gutter. Boom. And I'm going to get rid of the fascia. Now we can start from scratch, okay? We're back to just clean so that we can work with this. this is so I can show you how to make something. Now we're, we're looking at a roof here that's coming in. And um, so what we want to do is click on this guy. And what we're dealing with the roof here is, I'm going to look over here, and it says it's an 8 and 12 slope. Yes, I could have found that out with annotate and with a slope. I could have put this on here like this and see 8 and 12. That's really nice and all. But um, I don't really. Hey, that needs an arrowhead. Let me just fix it. Oh, man. No arrowhead on that guy. How about a 15 degree arrowhead? Boom. Looking nice there, Mr. Arrowhead. Okay. So we've got an 8 and 12 slope coming off the edge of this thing. All right. So let me just move it up here a little bit further. <clears throat> and let's see how the, um, I'm going to use a dimension to see what the um, tab, I'm going to hit that. Okay, we've got seven and a half inches at the edge. And from the wall out, we're looking at two feet. So remember with me, eight and 12, and we've got seven and a half inches and two feet. Bam, bam, bam. That's what we're dealing with. So if I say file and new family. I'm going to go. We're going to scroll down to the profile hosted and say OK. Now what we want to do here is build us a fascia that we're going to use in our project. And this intersection is going to be the edge of that roof, the 8 and 12. So here we go. I'm going to go over the 12 inches okay, and up the 8 inches. And this line, my friends, bing. Bing. That's the slope of the roof, okay? Let me get these words out of the way here. I'm going to move these out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't actually delete these because they were part of the original template. You can't delete stuff that's part of the original template, but you can move it. Get out of my face. Okay, there's our slope. And I'm going to go back to create a line. Look at this. We're going to come down to 7.5 inches, okay? And then we're going to come over the two feet. And of course, I came over right to where my words are, where I put them. Get out of here. So this is what we're dealing with, friends, okay? And I can extend this line up to there. So this is that profile that we're dealing with. This is the building side where it says host, 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 host. And this is the air. So we build our shape right over here uh, in context. And then we have to get rid of these lines, okay? A cup of coffee here to help me out. <sighs> now we're talking. Okay, so <clears throat> doesn't matter what the shape is because every project is different. But let me show you how it works. What I'm going to go is create a line. Let's just say you've got something that looks like, um, okay, let's be realistic. Let's, let's be real. I'm going to create a line. I'm going to come out three quarters of an inch, right? Okay, because I want to put a little piece of fascia on there. And then I'm going to come down um, to the face of this. And up underneath here, this is already a soffit, so I need a one-inch drip line, right? So let's just go one inch further. So I go one, hey, look at that, one inch and over and up. So this is going to be a piece of wood that I'm going to put on there. But 
I'm going to do a built up section. So watch this. I'm going to say create. Maybe I also want a little one by four stuck on the face of it. So let me go 3.5 inches. And so there's our little one by four. So we this is what it's going to look like over there. Now in I can't I can't have these extra lines in here. I'm going to get rid of those in a minute. But let's say back over here against the building, I'd like some trim up against the house, something similar to what I've got over here. Maybe maybe we put a one by eight and then one by four on it for a little piece of trim, something like that. So create a line. So look here. I'm going to, well, I'll just copy this one. Look at this. Copy. I'm going to copy this one over to three quarters of an inch. Okay. And then I'm going to copy this line down, the one by eight, which is seven and a quarter inch. Okay. There. So, and then I trim those. So there's our piece of trim that we want down here. Okay. Coming along up underneath. But then I also would like to have a, a like a one by four up under there for trim. Create line and come out three quarters of an inch. Come down to 3.5 inches. There's your one by four trim. So it doesn't really matter. What if, what if you wanted to put a, a little triangle up there for a little decorative? It can be anything. I don't think, I mean, sure, let's leave it, okay? So here's what I want to show you guys here. This, these have to be closed loops and they can't touch each other. Ah, it's going to blow your mind if you say, whoa, what? So we have to get rid of some of these extra lines. We can't have the slope, okay? We can't have this extra line shooting across there. And we can't have this vertical here. But here's what we can have. We can have a closed loop. And it has to be a nice closed loop. And you're like, wait a minute. Where's all my pieces and parts going to go when I do a closed loop? Well, because that's, that's hard to tell what that is. And this one here too. This one's down to there. So this is our closed loop. And this is our closed loop. But they're in context. Wait for it. I'm going to save this onto my desktop. <laughs> save it onto desktop and call it... Um, Fascia pieces. Okay, let's just call it that. Fascia pieces. Save. So I save it, load it into my project. Okay, so I feel like using it in my section. Here's my section. I want to use it, but I can't yet. I have to make a, uh, a roof fascia that uses that profile I just made. Okay, so here we go. Over here. Over here. I'll bring myself over so you can see it. Okay, right out of there. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go down to families. I'm going to scroll down here to profiles and you'll see the bottom one. There's my fascia pieces, but under roofs, fascia, I've got the one by eight, one by 10, one by 12. I don't want those. I'm going to duplicate one of those. Okay. Duplicated the one by eight, whatever. I'm going to rename it. Okay. Rename. <clears throat> I'm going to rename it. What am I going to rename it? Um, um, roof pieces. Okay. Roof pieces. Good enough. And when I double click that, it brings up the properties and I don't want the one by eight. I would rather have the fascia pieces. Okay. <clears throat> so let me put, get back up here. Now we're going to use that. If I drag that fascia pieces out here and I click right here on this corner, bam, it puts the trim in exactly where it's supposed to be. Isn't that sweet? But I mean, come on. Now, here's some fun. We need the lines inside to give it delineation. So I don't have to draw lines here in the project. I can put lines back inside that family. Uh, are you kidding me? So here it goes. Let me edit this family. So here we are <clears throat> back at the family. Okay. If we need lines in here, we need a line that is a detail line. Okay. And you'll notice there's no detail lines. In available, <gasps> but there are a detail component. I would like to make a detail component that is a line. So here we go. I'm doing this fast for you guys. File, new, and I want a new family. Wait for it. A detail line, line based. Open. What all I'm going to do, guys, all I'm doing is making a line from right here, and I'm going to snap to this intersection right there. And I've got a line <laughs> that's line based. I know that's crazy, but a line that's line based is it's big time. And so I'm going to save it onto my desktop. Watch this. Um, 
um, line line based. I'm going to call it a detail line. Detail line line based. Okay. And look at this. I'm going to load it into the family. Bam. So here we go. Now that it's in here, watch this. Right. I'm going to use that detail line. I'm going to draw a line right there. Okay. And I'm going to draw a line right here. And that little tiny line that I wanted right there. There. I've drawn these detail lines. Now when I save it, wait for it, and load it into my project, wait for it. Yes, override the existing one. Look guys, there's, there's lines where they need to be inside the family so I don't have to go and draw extra lines in Revit. Anyway, fascia is powerful. You can go edit the profile anytime you need to add or change it. And now with those extra lines, you can delineate and draw extra little things in there that you need to draw. You can draw a little cross hatching if you need something to look like plywood, whatever. You can load detail components into that fascia profile family if you want. It just keeps on going. Fascia is underutilized and it is a powerful powerful tool so I want you guys to go try that try that tip use fascia and have a great time and tell the next Revit tip happy reveting my friends see you later okay bye bye